Ooh, I may have found a new favorite little combo. <gasps> this looks really flawless on the skin. What the heck? As much as I love sitting down and recommending products to you guys, my favorite thing is actually to have recommendations come from you. So I asked you all over on Instagram to tell me what your favorite fall makeup is right now. I got a bunch of submissions. I went through all of them and I've got a full face of products that you guys are loving right now for fall. So I'm really excited to get into it. I've done my brows and also my eyeshadow primer off camera. And we're gonna start with eyeshadow palettes, okay? I know which one I'm gonna use because five people actually submitted this as their favorite thing right now for fall and that's the new Natasha Denona my dream eyeshadow palette so I'm really really excited to dip into this before I read people's comments about that though, I wanted to mention some of the other eyeshadow palettes that got submitted several times. So I wanted to kind of do like a honorable mention because it just feels like fall is perfect for dipping into your favorite classic eyeshadow palettes. And so I wanted to make sure to mention all of these. Four of you guys said you're loving the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. This is such a good one. So I wanted to give this a little shout out as well. It made me want to actually use this one again because the colors really are perfect for fall. This palette just barely launched, but you guys are into it. Four of you said you're really loving this new Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. This is the Ethereal Eyes palette, which I recently picked up and tried out and really, really am loving myself. So I wanted to share that one as well. We had a couple of you guys say that you are loving the Natasha Denona Glam Palette for fall as well. This is an amazing cool tone palette, it's a classic. This is a great time of year to dip into this palette. I mean, this one like works all year, but especially in fall with these golden tones and more cool tone mattes, it's so pretty. A couple of you couldn't stop using the Il Maquillage and Kathleen Lights eyeshadow palette, another amazing everyday palette, but especially for fall here as well. There's just really gorgeous sparkly tones, there's bronzes, and even these berries, I think are just perfect for this time of year. And then I wanted to pop up a picture of this one right here because this was mentioned several times, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette, you guys. This is a classic. So many people were like, it's not fall if I'm not dipping into this palette and this one is such a classic. I couldn't find it, I have it in my collection, but I'm in the middle of reorganizing a ton of stuff and it's just at the bottom of one of my eyeshadow pins right now, so. And then also an eyeshadow palette that was mentioned a couple of times that I personally haven't tried yet, but I have in my collection, it was sent to me, is this one right here. I wanted to mention it because it just looks so pretty for fall. The Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette. So those are the eyeshadow palettes that were the most mentioned from you guys at least through Instagram. So I wanted to give a shout out to quite a few of them, but again, we're gonna be using the Natasha Denona palette. And this one, I wanted to read some of your reasonings behind this. Somebody said, the Natasha My Dream palette, I never splurge on palettes, but the colors spoke to me. It really is such a beautiful palette. Someone else said, Natasha's Dream palette, didn't expect to love it so much. The color story is truly magical. I feel the same, like I didn't expect to love it that much. Well. I kind of did, but then I tried it and it like exceeded my expectations, so I feel the exact same. We're gonna dip into this, but first I'm gonna give you a closer look at the color story. It's really perfect for fall with these purple tones. There's also some like golden duochromes in here, some really beautiful warm tone mattes. So let's get into this. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called Unity, and I'm gonna work this into the crease and a little bit above as my transition shade. Next I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This just looks kind of fall to me. This is called Familia. And I'm gonna take that on a slightly more structured brush and I'm just gonna to start to build this up on the outer edge of the eye. This is like a really, really nice warm toned orangey brown, seriously perfect for fall. So I'm just working that into the crease and a little bit out toward the edge of the brow. This look is gonna be pretty eye focused today. Although I do have quite a few lip products to share with you guys. I feel like fall is where everybody gets into their eyeshadows again and like their more intense lip colors, which is so fun. I'm going back in with the first brush that we used just to make sure that those colors are high enough and blended really seamlessly together. You know, I kind of want to play with Vision. This is a really cool duochrome or maybe even triochrome eyeshadow color. This is so interesting, look at that. It's got like a purple and green shift to it. So I'm just gonna start applying this to the center of the eyelid because I just think this is so cool for fall. Ooh, I love the shift that that gives. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Aspiration right here, and I want this to be on the very outer corner of the eye. I just barely decided that I want it to be a little bit more smoky on the very edge. So I'm just building that up right here and then a little bit into the crease. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Thrill, and I'm gonna take this on my fingertip and apply it to the very inner portion of the eye. 
kind of brighten up that inner third and I'm blending it into the duochrome or triochrome. I don't even know. Is it triochrome or duochrome? <laughs> Whatever that shadow was that we just applied, I'm blending this color into it. So there's a nice gradient. For mascara, one of you said you have been loving the Rare Beauty mascara. And then another person said Rare Beauty mascara to just run out the door because inside and outside is cold, so you need. <laughs> I loved that so much. So I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty mascara and I'm going to apply this to the top lashes. Okay, now I'm just wiping away any fallout under the eyes and kind of cleaning up the edges. There wasn't a primer that was mentioned. So I'm just gonna prime the skin with my Too Faced Hangover Primer, just to kind of prep it a little bit. And then for foundation, there were a couple people that mentioned a drugstore foundation and then a couple people that mentioned the same high-end foundation. So from the drugstore, the L'Oreal Tinted Serum Foundation, the one in the bottle. So it's this one right here. And then someone else said something more specific about it. Let me find it. Okay, here it is. The L'Oreal Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Hydrating and the perfect amount of coverage. Love you, Allie. Love you too, thank you for submitting that. So this is the drugstore option. The high-end option, and I can't decide which one I'm gonna use. Maybe we should mix them. I don't know, is that extra? It's the House Labs Foundation. And then someone else said something more specific. The House Labs Triclone Foundation, obsessed. My skin has never looked so flawless. <laughs> so drugstore high-end. <laughs> I mean, I've used this one quite a bit on my channel. I've tried this a couple of times. I feel like I keep applying too much on accident. So I keep wanting to like try it again and again. Um, but for this video, do we combine them? Is that so extra? I, I, I kind of want to see. I want to just see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to take the House Labs one. This is in the shade 030 Fair. Cool. And I'm just going to do not too much, this much on the back of my hand. Then we're going to take the L'Oreal Tinted Serum. And this is in the shade 0 0.5 to 2. I love this stuff. I hate the packaging though, honestly. It just gets so messy. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of that. Ooh. I'm going to mix the two on the back of my hand. You know what's interesting? They're kind of similar textures. I mean, I don't want to say they're dupes for each other. They feel like the finish is different on both, but very, very similar texture. All right, let's see how this looks. I feel like it's always so fun to create your own foundation by mixing two of what you have. And then you get a custom formula that hopefully looks great. This is looking really, really nice so far. I think the key with the House Labs one is to use less. I really need to be better about that with that formula because I feel like I just do a full pump on the back of my hand and then apply all of it because <laughs> I don't want to waste it. But I don't even think I need a full pump. And I still have a lot left on the back of my hand, but I'm trying not to overdo it. Okay, I'm adding a bit more coverage to the cheeks and then I'm just pressing that in with my sponge. Okay, I feel like less is more for sure. I mean, I know I mix the L'Oreal one in there, but for both of those formulas, this is looking really, really nice. Ooh, I may have found a new favorite little combo. <gasps> This looks really flawless on the skin. What the heck? <laughs> okay, this was a combo that was submitted that was so specific. I was like, I, I need to try that because I've tried. Oh shoot, I just realized that she put a primer in here. I could have used the primer. <gasps> oh, I didn't read that. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, so somebody said Haley's Beauty setting powder and primer and concealer. For some reason, I read that as setting powder and concealer. I don't know, I didn't read the primer. I own the Haley's Beauty primer, dang it. Well, anyway, we're gonna use the concealer and the powder. I wish I would have seen that before applying foundation, but here we are. So I've got the concealer. This is actually one of my favorite concealers ever. And then this powder they sent me recently, it's been in the brand for a while and I tried it years ago and I don't remember how I feel about it. I, I don't think it's stuck into my routine, but then I was looking at their website and now they have a few different shades, which I don't know if they had before. So we're gonna try this. This is a brand new one. So I just gotta take off a little safety seal. Oh, I feel so bad that I like forgot the primer. I'm sorry. We're gonna take the Haley's Beauty Rewind Concealer. Phenomenal formula. This one specifically is Fair Neutral. This is the Fair Neutral shade. I, I use Fair Light Neutral as well. Then I was playing around with this color and I actually really like the undertone. So I'm just gonna pop this on. Underneath the eyes, a little goes a long way with this. I'm just gonna blend it out directly underneath the eyes with my sponge. This gives such good coverage and it's really smoothing too. It's genuinely one of my favorites for just like a flawless under eye. You can use it on other parts of the face as well. 
I'm just gonna keep it underneath the eyes today because I honestly feel like I got pretty good coverage out of those foundations. All right, let's apply the powder. I'm gonna go in with this. Um, this is the shade Translucent Fair. Let's give this a go. I'm just gonna press this underneath the eyes to set the concealer. Oh my, oh, that's so nice. Very, very smoothing. Haley's Beauty makes such nice complexion products. Oh, well, I think they only make complexion products actually, but they're really good at it. Okay, I'm just kind of pressing that in the T-zone with my small brush before going into my larger brush with the same powder and just setting the rest of the face with this. That looks so pretty. Just taking my sponge to press down any excess powder. Okay, let's bronze the face. All right, for bronzer, somebody said the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Highlight Duo. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. Perfect cool tone bronzer for fall and winter. Also Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria lipstick, which we will try later. Well, I already have it, but I'll swatch it for you guys later. So I'm gonna take the Sculpt Powder in this Charlotte Tilbury little duo. I haven't used this in so long. I was excited to see that somebody mentioned this so I could give it another go. I'm just gonna sculpt the face with this. Ooh, yeah, that color is nice, wow. It makes me sad that sometimes I forget about amazing products like this, but that's why I love filming videos like these, you know? Because I'm able to really dip back into a lot of my existing collection or try new things and learn from you guys. Ooh, that looks really nice. Okay, I'm just gonna take my powder brush and blend out the edges. While we have the palette open, I'm gonna go into the highlighter and we're gonna highlight the high points of the face. Since we already have the palette, we might as well. All right, we're gonna bounce back into the eyeshadow palette really quickly. Starting out with the shade Unity, which was the one that we used very first on the top lid. I'm just gonna run that across the entire lower lash line, really smoking it out as well and connecting it to the existing shadows on the top lid. I'm gonna go into Vision, which was like the trio chrome color. I'm gonna take that on a small brush and spray it with some setting spray, press it into the back of my hand, and then we're gonna use this across the entire lower lash line. Okay, this color looks so cool, especially when used damp. I'm in love with the way it shifts. It's so cool. I wanna take a little bit of Familia. I'm actually gonna use the same brush that we were just using because I like the shape of it and I'm gonna go on the very outer edge of the lower lash line to kind of add a bit of warmth and definition there so that it ties into the top lid a little better. All right, now I'm dipping into the shade Thrill and I'm gonna apply this in the inner corner and then also right here on that lower lash line. Ooh, I think that looks so pretty. Okay, we're going to apply the Rare Beauty Mascara to the lower lashes and then I have a blush I'm excited to wear and a ton of lip products to show you. I'm just touching up my brows a little bit Okay, I was kind of shocked that two of you mentioned the same blush formula in the same shade because there was a lot of like blushes that were recommended, but you know, a lot of just random ones or one shade at a time. But this one was mentioned twice, which was crazy. So luckily I already had it, but look how pretty this is. The MAC Glow Play Blush in the shade Blush Please. Let me find the other comment about it too. Okay, here it is. MAC Glow Play Blush in Blush Please is the most perfect cool toned mauve shade. It really is. I love this formula and I just don't know if I've gotten enough use out of this. So I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, look how good it looks with the eyes. Ooh, I didn't even plan that. I'm gonna dip into this color with the bottom of my sponge, press it into the back of my hand so that it's evenly distributed. And then I'm gonna smile and just bounce this on the apples of the cheeks. Do you see how beautiful that looks with the eyeshadow? Oh my goodness. Apparently you guys have like a certain aesthetic for fall too, like a color story that works together. <laughs> How crazy. Okay, I'm flipping my sponge over just to kind of go over the very edges to fade some of the pigment toward the center of the face so that it's a nice smooth gradient. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, I love it. All right, now for the fun part, lipstick. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation on the lips. And I wanted to use a lip liner that was mentioned that I also love, and I felt like it would go well with any of these lip colors I'm about to use. It's the NYX Slim Lip Liner in Mauve. <laughs> I love this formula, and they have so many colors that are just so beautiful. So we are gonna line the lips with this. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a monochromatic look. I did not think it would look this cohesive. All right, lips are lined. Now I'm gonna show you some of the products that were mentioned several times. So two of you guys, said that you love the Tower 28 Gloss in the shade Cashew. This is a really pretty kind of warmish peachy brown. That's what it looks like swatched. It's really gorgeous. I mean, this formula you can't go wrong with, but the shade Cashew, you guys seem to be really enjoying, so there's that. I actually 
sent my husband to Walmart to pick this up because two of you mentioned this specific shade of the Lifter Gloss. So this is the, yeah, Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Topaz. Someone actually said a combo with this. They said, okay, hear me out, Charlotte Tilbury, Island Dream and Maybelline lip gloss in Topaz. I didn't have the Island Dream lipstick, but that made me really intrigued and now I wanna try that combo. So I wanted to swatch this. I obviously wanna try it on the lips too, but ooh, look how pretty that one is. It's got a little bit of like a rosy pink undertone to it. That's gorgeous. Ooh, okay, there's that. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand first and then we'll pick a lip combo to wear. The Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lips were mentioned a couple times. One person said the Maybelline Superstay Liquid Lip in Seductress, which I also made Thailand pick up at Walmart because I didn't have this color. Ooh, this looks pretty. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Ooh, that's Seductress. That's like a really nice pinky mauve, which could go very well with this makeup look. Okay. And then somebody else said the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Globetrotter. Such a fall color. This one I do have. And I actually think I bought this because of your recommendation from another video. This is a really pretty, just roasty, toasty, pumpkin-y, reddish orange. So pretty for fall. This is obviously one that I would wear, you know, kind of on its own a little bit more, not with a more bold eye look, but still such a stunning shade. I wanted to make sure to mention it. Okay, now I'm gonna swatch Very Victoria from Charlotte Tilbury, which was submitted along with other suggestions that I read earlier. So this is Very Victoria, such a pretty, just, purpley color. Ooh, that would look pretty with this look too, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. And then somebody said the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium. Perfect color for fall. I love this shade. This is one of my favorites as well. This one is a little bit deeper than Very Victoria, but still same color story. Just like a nice mauve. It's so pretty, I love this one. Okay, and then I wanted to mention this Rare Beauty lipstick. Somebody said Rare Beauty lipstick in Wise is the perfect fall color with a bunch of exclamation points. So I had to pull this out of my collection to see what the hype was all about. Ooh, yes, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this one. Ooh, I forgot about this one. This is pretty. So this is more of like a brownie version of these two. You see that? So pretty. So those are the ones that I wanted to point out. There were obviously many that were submitted, but now I'm kind of, hmm, now I'm stumped. What should I wear? While I'm thinking about it though, there were actually a couple other lip products that got two submissions that I wanted to mention. The first one being Clinique Black Honey. I will pop up a photo right here. I don't have this one and they didn't have it at my Ulta. I don't know if they have it at Ulta. I couldn't find it. So I'm, I wanna try that one. Obviously a lot of you guys really do enjoy that. And then also the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Choco Latte Shake had two votes. So two of you guys submitted that as well. That's another product that I would love to try, but I could not find it at my Ulta, so. All right, we are going to create a little lip combo. What should I wear? Hmm, I'm thinking because I have tried the Charlotte Tilbury ones on camera, I've done a swatch of this one, oh, but I just feel like it's not quite the right color for this eye look. It would probably work. I think I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay one in the shade Seductress. We'll start with this. And then I think I want to try out the Lifter Gloss. Ooh, ooh, that's a really good color. That actually looks so nice with the mauve lip liner as well. Okay, we're gonna let that kind of set a little bit before we apply a gloss on top. And I do want to try this Lifter Gloss in the shade Topaz, once this is settled in a little bit. While I wait for that lip to set, I'm gonna assess the situation. Just take a little bit of what's left on the bronzer brush and go around the face. And then we're gonna apply a little bit of the gloss. Ooh, that kind of warmed it up a little bit. I think that's actually a really pretty combo. Kind of ties in the more peachy tones that we have on the eyes. Now that I have the lip on actually, I want to add a little more of that peachy color on the eye so that it looks more cohesive. So I'm going to go in with Unity, which was the first shade we used when we started the eye look. I'm just going to throw a little bit more of that color into the crease. And I'm going to pinch the brush and apply just a bit of that along the lower lash line as well just to warm things up a tiny bit. Okay, well, I love how this makeup looks. I think I have everything where I want it. I might add a little more blush with what's left on my sponge. And then for setting spray, someone mentioned the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, which is something that I love and use still. It's in my current fall routine. So we're gonna spritz the face with this. Mm -hmm. And then once it's halfway dry, I always like to take my sponge 
and just press it down into the skin. You can see how it makes just the highlighter pop. It makes everything look so smooth. And then I am going to set the brows. It's just a clear brow gel. This one is from Patrick Ta. I didn't see a brow gel mentioned. Maybe I missed it, but I don't think anyone mentioned it. So I'm just gonna use this to lock the brows in place. All right, you guys, so that completes this makeup look. I thoroughly enjoyed trying out your fall favorites. I love how this look turned out and I thought it was so fun to see what you guys are into right now and to create an entire look using the things that you guys are into right now. So let me know in the comments down below if you had any similar picks to what I showed you today or if there was something that I didn't mention that you really think I need to know about or any of us need to know about please be sure to leave a comment down below. If you have not joined the family yet, I would love for you to do so. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and then you can click on the notification bell after you subscribe and that way you won't miss a video from me. I upload three times a week. So be sure to subscribe and then click the notification bell so you don't miss out. That was so fun, oh my goodness. I absolutely love involving you guys in my videos and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.